Hey folks, welcome to today's free tutorial. I am Piano Man Steve Lundgren and we're going to look at Let It Be by The Beatles. One of the truly great songs ever written. We're going to get through the intro on this one. And the intro looks like so. So, where are we? Well, like I say, we're in the key of C and we're in 4-4 time, so find middle C with your right thumb, and then find octave C's below that with your left hand. The left hand is going to be going like so. Now, notice I'm not playing octaves on all of those notes, and I'm not just doing that because I have 76 keys. It's, you can't play necessarily octaves clear up here because it gets in the way of what your right hand is doing, and it doesn't sound right to come clear down there, at least not if you're trying to copy kind of what Paul was playing. So, you start with octave Cs, one and two C, F, G. And that counts like this, one and two and a one, one and two and a three and four and one. So C, C, F, G, G, A, A, F, F, C octaves, da, 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 back to that again, C, C, F, G, and then F octaves, C. So watch that again and I won't talk over it, just I'll tap the rhythm out in my right hand and we'll slow it down a little bit. One and two and three and four and Once again. So again, that's C, C, F, G, G, A, A, F. F, C, C, F, G, G, F, C. So what's going on in the right hand? Well, in the right hand, we start with a big full C chord up here. C, E, G, C. So I would play thumb, index, middle, pinky, but you can form it however you want. I am not the fingering Nazi, so. Now what you want to do is rather than play the whole chord, you want to play just E, G, C, and then toggle down to the thumb. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da. Just on that chord. Ba -da. Then we go to a G chord, which is B, D, and G. Ba, 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 ba. So ta, ta, G, G. Then up to an A minor chord, which is C, E, and A. So bum. So we play that on count one. And then we jump down to this inversion, which is A, C, and E. So we were here, okay, and then it goes to an F major 7, which is F, A, C, and E. Bum, bum. 
then to a D minor, which actually plays out like an F6 because you have F in the bass still. So F, A, and D. So here. Then back up to a C chord here at C, E, G. Then back to G, which is B, D, and G. Then you play an F chord, C, F, and A, bum, bum, and then it is simply E and G, D and F, and then the C chord again, C, E, G. So watch just the right hand through that whole thing, and I'll play it slowly. One, two, three, and four. Again. Let's put the two hands together and we'll go through it slowly a few times for you. One, two, three, and four, and... Whoops. Let me do that right this time, and I am very, very sorry for the mistake. One, two. Again, one, two, three, four. time. One, two, three, four. So at full speed, time. Okay. In part two, we'll look at the verse. See you then. And don't forget that if you're not having fun when you're making music, you're doing it wrong. Take care.